Good afternoon guys, this is Nash speaking and today I am here to talk about the Aftershock Vapor 17 Pro this is just a follow up video it is due to the fact that many of you have a lot of uh, many of you have is confused between why why is this called 17 Pro and why can I find the laptop in the Aftershock market okay first of all I must tell you that this laptop is no longer available in the lab, in the shop it is due to the fact that this is the 9th generation Intel i i7 9750H processor and back then when I bought this it was during the March Madness sale and Intel has yet to announce the 10th generation i core and the Intel core which is the i7 10875H processor and the bit the diff between the this my laptop and that laptop is that the only difference is this my laptop is only have six cores while that laptop has eight cores and next question it was raised there is this the same as Vapor 17X? The answer is yes, but not really. I say it is the same. It is due to the fact that the chassis of the laptop, what you can see, the logo here, the where's the plug, uh, the charger lies, the keyboard layout, the cap trackpad, the sound quality, the the finishing is all the same the only difference between this laptop and the Vapor 17X is my laptop has only is like I said is the 9th generation and it has the 2019 GeForce RTX 2060 the Vapor 17X however it has iCore Intel Core i7-10875H processor with the new version of the 2060 RTX GeForce the only two difference between my 2060 and the 17X GeForce is that the one that I'm using now is only 90 watts and the new one is using the 115 watts watts of power so basically my laptop is currently so called outdated and under more lesser powered compared to the one that you will be buying in the website so that is the big difference so the next question someone asks does this has G-Sync? the short answer is I don't know I'm not a, a tech expert I just do my first impression of this video and I is still not sure what is G-Sync so I can't really help you with that but from from what I guess yes it should have because 2060 all the RTX 2060 onwards should have all these new so called new functions so don't quote me on that so that is up to you to find out yourself so can't help you with that the uh, next person asked me how loud is the fan noise when gaming when it is not plugged in the laptop barely spin you barely can hear anything because it is due to the fact that this laptop will just power throttle to the point that it is quite difficult for you to play the game you will see a lot of jittering and so on even though even I press the max loudness here max max loudness uh, fan the thermal it will drop however it's because of the power limit I am unable to so called play play the games however this will change the moment I plug it in to the wall when you plug into the wall the power limit is removed and the game is battery smooth 
and you can easily push a high graphic high graphic I mean high performance games without much of an issue but don't really expect much if you put all on ultra settings because it's still at the end of the day it's still a 2060 processor not a 2070 or a 2080 so next uh how loud was it the laptop so far when i plug it in it is averaging about 45 decibels using the phone app so i can't really like tell whether that's the correct values or not but it is almost as loud as the your my fan right here at the lowest speed and when the gaming mode or the max performance mode turn on it can go up to almost 50 55 decibels it might even be even slightly more depends on how much it can push but from based on the app it says it's about roughly about 55 decibels so that's the question about how loud is the sound and also with almost max max out settings in GTA I was able to run easily almost 100 frames per second so that is another information for you to find to just to know okay next it, the final question I received was how much did I bought this laptop so the short answer is about 2.7k but that is just due to the fact that I had purchased additional 1 terabyte of storage if without that additional storage it was it was about roughly about 2.2 2.3 2.3k like that because it's the add-on of that because I was as I was requesting for the the Samsung 970 Evo Plus which is the M MDME hence it is relatively expensive and that's why it is about 2.7 and the next reason is I didn't initially didn't order this laptop the Vapor 17 Pro I ordered for a Aftershock Vapor 15 so you can see the price is slightly different so most likely if you buy the currently if you buy the Vapor 17X it will be you can easily hit 2.8 or also I mean uh, not really 2.8 like uh, currently in the um, I saw in the market the cheapest you can get for the 17X is about 2.2 so that's uh you can get 2.2 which is almost the same as my vapor 15 the only difference is during the match magnus sale the vapor 15 that i ordered it has a free upgrade of one terabyte of ssd which is some oem and also additional uh ram which is from 8 to 16. so it was actually had a choice between a uh, whether I want a 2060 or a 2070 version because I when I see the website there is two version which is the Aftershock 15 and the Aftershock v Vapor 15 Pro the only two difference is that one has a smaller battery and it has only 2060 while the other one is only have two option which is the 1660 Ti the GTX one or the 2070 and if I bought the GeForce RTX 2070, it will cost me about 2.7k, which is uh, roughly about the same as how much I bought overall. Yes, hence, that's why I didn't went for the 2070, I bought the 2060. So, I hope that this video helps you. And probably I will link a video, uh, uh, screenshots of whatever I have said earlier. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching throughout this 
until the end of the video i appreciate it a lot however uh, it, i will appreciate even more if you press the subscribe button because i'm planning to do more of a earpiece review the T TWS review and hopefully you will see it soon thanks ciao